Hey guys and welcome back for another video. Today I wanted to do a quick video and show you guys this sign that I made um, not too long ago. I did have the files just kind of sitting on my computer so I wanted to compile them for you and show you just a little process of me making it. This isn't necessarily a step-by-step -step video or measurements or anything like that but um, I just kind of made it as I go so this piece of wood here is just a scrap piece so but yeah you know this week it was just one of those weeks where I wasn't feeling very crafty and um, my kids are all back at school now so it was just a little bit of a hard transition it always is for me I get a little depressed if you know what I mean so I mean I they're happy they transitioned well they're happy they're back at school and with all their friends but you know when the house gets quiet again then it's kind of I don't know you know that's one of those things so I did some thrift therapy as you saw over on my Instagram I didn't find anything but just the whole thing of just going out and walking around and you know looking through things um, I find that fun and it gets your mind off of things so I love a thrift therapy that's what I call it <laughs> but yeah I decided to make the sign and I used a two by one for the frame and I decided to miter the corners and I'm just gonna paint it and use some stain for the frame itself so once in a while I like to switch my hobbies because as you know I do so a lot but it's also, I really like this hobby because it gets you outside. So I have the indoor hobby and then I have the outdoor hobby. So I really like the balance of those two together. I do have a lot of hobbies, but I think that I really enjoy these two. And it's the same thing, you know, you have raw, raw materials and then you make it into something beautiful. And it's just amazing how after I was done, I was like, wow, like, people would buy that <laughs> and people tell me all the time you should sell so I just used some of this older test tester paint it's just a latex paint and I painted my sign and I did like one or two coats I think I did to two coats and then after that then I'm gonna use some oil based stain in the color walnut and do the frame and you should always put your gloves on first because if not that happens <laughs> it actually landed on the top of my hand so of course you have the gloves but then I got it on my hand anyway so <sighs> but then I just take an old cloth and I'm just gonna rub it all over the frame and then wipe it off I really like that the cream and then the the walnut stain right now but I also want to try some different stains like a gray stain I really like that too I'm not really sure in which way my style is going lately it's been getting really lighter like I like the lighter colors I like to have a light house light and airy I remember back in the old days it was like dark <laughs> I don't know I think it's like as you become a mom you want things to be clean so the only way to really see if something is clean is if it is a lighter color so after this then I just use a nail gun and I put it all together and I didn't show it in the, a video but it was very terrifying it was my first time using a nail gun but I'm very proud of myself you know sometimes you just gotta step out of your comfort zone and try out those things that terrify you I mean I think at the beginning of this year I had never used a miter saw because it just scared me but then when I got the ear the earmuffs and then the safety glasses it's way less scary when it's not so loud so um, I'll never use that machine without the uh, earmuffs because when I, I have used it afterwards and I'm like oh my goodness no way it is so loud so I went over to I think it's like dafont.com da and I got this really cute 
um, fonts and I just created my my words and I even put that little heart in between Ashley and Adam just so that you know that you know they are the ones who are husband and wife we are the ones who you know the love that we created created our children so that's why I did that and yeah I really like the this is a signs I don't necessarily like to watch the show I watched the first few seasons but then I kind of just lost interest I don't know why <laughs> so I'm just putting on that transfer tape and then I just put it on top of my letters remove the backing paper and then I can apply that onto my sign. I really like using the matte permanent vinyl or glossy, doesn't matter. And for this, like I just cut down the transfer tape so that I can get all the words on my sign at the same time and I can, you know, figure out my placement and everything. And then after I'm just gonna again rub really hard on those letters to get them to stick but with the fine letters I don't think that I mean some people like to do stencil but I think that would be a lot more difficult with the fine letters like it would be a lot easier to screw up so I just rather use the vinyl and then I'm just going to rub it in <laughs> But I think it turned out really nice. Um, I'm not too crazy about my staying job, so don't judge me. But um, I think I used like the wrong cloth. So, but I'll remember for the next time. And I did make a few more of these signs for gifts for people. So that was nice. And the look on their face when you make something, especially that looks like you know you could buy in a store and it's custom they love it so do you have any secondary hobbies I would love to hear what else you like to do definitely leave that in the comments below and I hope you understand that sometimes life happens and sewing tutorials won't be up um, but I know that a lot of my followers even they said on the Instagram or on the Facebook that you know they they don't hold it against me which is great so my real followers my real fans they uh, they're very understanding ladies so I really appreciate that so here it is <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm sorry if you came to see the sign video and not to listen to me talk. <laughs> um, but welcome to my channel and if you're not already subscribed, of course, don't forget to do that. And if you would actually like me to do a tutorial with this, you know, from start to finish explanations and all that stuff like that, then also let me know. So thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.